Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this episode today, we are going to review the famous Go Girl. Before we go ahead and get started, we partnered with the company Go Girl and they were kind enough to offer us two Go Girl devices for two of you. So if you stick until the end of this video, we're going to talk about the giveaway and you might end up getting your Go Girl device shipped to you very soon. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Habiba and this is Trekking Pals. For those of you who are not familiar with the Go Girl, this is a urination device that allows females to pee while standing. As simple as that. And so in this episode, we're going to do a review talking about why the heck do you want to pee while standing? What problem does this urination device solve? Why is it necessary? We're going to jump into a review to look at the device itself, talk about how to use it, how to clean it, and then how to store it. And finally, we will talk about the giveaway. And these are some of the use cases or the scenarios that you can use the urination device for. So let's start first of all with hikers and backpackers. Not a lot of females are comfortable going about doing their business behind a tree, a bush or a boulder because depending on the vegetation in the area, sometimes that can trigger an allergic reaction, poison ivy, and the risk might be higher for some females compared to others and some of them are just not comfortable to do so. In this scenario, the urination device can come in handy. If you are traveling in a car, for example, for an extended amount of time and you don't want to take hundreds of breaks throughout the way, you can also use the device alongside with the bottle and go about doing your business. It can also be useful after surgery, especially hip or back surgery. Squatting or sitting to pee can get really hard. And I know that a lot of females after surgery, they choose to use the device just to kind of alleviate and reduce the pain that can be caused from sitting and squatting. For females who are more into mountaineering and alpine sports, when you go above the tree level, there is usually less coverage, not a lot of trees, not a lot of boulders. And if you are traveling with a team of males and females, you still want some privacy and you want to be somehow discreet. If you are roping up with a team, it's kind of hard to go and venture on your own and it can get risky sometimes. So if you want to be discreet and go about doing your business, a lot of females who are into Alpine opt for using the urination device. Another scenario I can think about is if you are traveling around national parks or on a road trip and you have to use some of the portable potties, we know that those can get really nasty and I don't even know if it's healthy to sit there and do your business. So using the urination device can be a good idea and a good alternative. Another scenario I can think about is traveling internationally. In some countries, I remember when I did the Inca Trail to Machu Picchu in Peru, most of the restrooms, they had the hole on the ground instead of the seats that we are used to. And so some people are not very comfortable or not familiar with squatting. And instead they would prefer to use the urination device. So there are a lot of use cases, a lot of problems that this device is solving. These are some of them. Maybe you can let us know in a comment if you have used it for a different scenario. All right, so now that we talked about the uses of the Go Girl, let's look at the device and talk about how you can use it. All right, so let's take a close look at the Go Girl device. When you order your Go Girl, it comes in a cylindrical shaped tube. It's very lightweight, very compact and TSA approved in case you plan on traveling with the Go Girl device. In the outer tube, there are some information about when can you use the Go Girl for sports, camping, or boating. Now, in the inside of the tube, there are three main pieces. The first one is the funnel or deurination device. This is the device that you are going to use. Very pretty color. Uh, it's 100% BPA free, and it's made of 100% medical grade silicone, so it should be very safe for you to use. Now, the second piece is this plastic bag. This plastic bag is used to store the urination device, and it also has some information about how to use it. The instructions are provided in English, Spanish, and French, so just make sure that you are spending some time to read through and familiarize yourself with the device before using it. And the third piece is a paper tissue, but I've already used mine. So now let's talk about how to use the device. First of all, before you take it to your first adventure outside, make sure that you spend some time practicing at home for you to get more comfortable with how to use it. Now, if you look at the funnel, there is first of all a sign that says do not flush. Obviously, this is a device that can be reusable. So pretty much every time you use it, you clean it, put it back in the tube and you can use it as many times as you want. 
If you take a close look at the funnel here, there are two edges. One of them is higher than the other. So the taller part or the taller side of the urination device is the one that's going to go to the back. And then the shorter one is the one that's going to go in the front. And in order for you to use it, you're going to rely on using your middle finger and your thumb. So you're going to place your thumb on the front side and then your middle finger on the back side. When you place it in the back side, you want to make sure that you are applying a little bit of pressure just to make sure that you are avoiding any leakage. So if you look at the pictures here, this is the position that you want to be in and this is the one that you want to avoid. And if you follow these exact instructions, there won't be any leakage. Again, you just have to practice a couple of times at home. Make sure that you have a successful experience before you take it outside. Now, when you use the device, you want to make sure that you rinse it off with some water and dry it with either a towel, a pee rag, or some paper towel. Now, let's talk about how to store the urination device. The way that I like to do this is by folding the plastic bag in half and then putting the urination device in the middle and try to fold it as small as as compact as possible and then I would roll the plastic bag and use the sticker just to make sure that everything is secured and this way it's going to be easy enough to fit into the tube and I would just put it inside and close it and voila now just make sure when you get home if you are for example hiking outside that you do clean it one more time and dry it to ensure that there's no bacteria growing in there. This is a very intimate device. You're gonna be using it a couple of times, so just make sure that it's staying clean and dry. Now let's talk about the giveaway. The giveaway is very straightforward. We're not going to ask you to go and follow us on Instagram and other social media. All you have to do after watching this video is to leave a comment and let us know that you are interested. If there are more than two people, we will pick one person randomly and we will reach out to you to ask you for an address that you want us to ship the device to. Thank you all for watching and if you found this review to be useful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. My name is Habiba and alongside with my partner, we create video content about hiking, backpacking and adventure traveling. Thank you again for watching and we'll see you soon on a new adventure. Bye.